What's going on guys, Bears with Knives here, and today I'm back again with another knife review, and today I'm going to be talking about the Kaiser Butcher Fixed Blade. Now this is a very interesting knife from Kaiser, and I'm going to be talking about it today. So first thing I'm going to do is give you a quick shot of the knife, front and back, so you can see it right here. Put that off to the side for the moment. Here is the sheath that accompanies this particular knife. It is in a OD green color variation. Put that off to the side and here is the packaging it comes in very nice sturdy kaiser box here a very large box for this particular knife you can see that the knife only takes up about this much of the box this knife also comes with a little cleaning cloth in there so there we go nice box though now here's the knife now i'm going to give you a couple size comparisons right here here it is next to a benchmade mini griptilian right there Next one up here is a Ontario Rat Model 2, right there. And last but not least is another Kaiser knife as well, another knife with a cleaver style blade. This is the Kaiser Vanguard Mini Sheepdog. So there we go, there's your size comparisons. Now I would like to give you a couple general stats. So the price on this knife is $55, very affordable, I'm not going to break the bank. Pretty budget as well, so the price is good. The overall length on this knife is 5.75 inches, your blade length is 2.5 inches, your handle length is 3.25 inches, and your weight is 3.37 ounces. So there we go, there's the stats. Now I would like to talk about this knife. So first thing, what are you getting here for your 55 bucks? You're getting 154 CM steel uh, on the blade as well as micarta handles. And these micarta handles are very, very nicely done. They're very well fit and finished. There's no substantial gapping or anything like that. The micarta is very well rounded. There's no sharp edges. The fit is very well against the uh, knife here. So the micarta handles are very nice. And it's micarta, so it is very comfortable in hand. Micarta just has that really soft um, texture to it. These uh, micarta scales on here are absolutely great. You also have a lanyard hole on here if you would like to throw a lanyard on this knife. And you also have the option to remove these scales if you want to put your own custom scales on here, anything like that. I don't really see the need to. I think these micarta scales are just perfect, uh, but you can do whatever you want. So if you want to remove the scales, it gives you the option to do so. So now, let's talk about the blade. This is a cleaver blade, as you can see right here. As I said, 154 CM steel, which I just want to cover that. 154 CM steel, especially for this price, at 55 bucks, is absolutely astounding. Uh, Kaiser could have very easily skipped out and went with a much more affordable steel. They could have went with an 8CR13, a, um, a N690, Something like that. So I'm very, very happy that they decided to go with 154cm uh, for this. You also have to consider that this is a very large piece of 154cm steel. This is a fairly broad and wide cleaver blade right here. And this is also a full tang uh, fixed blade here, meaning that the blade is all one piece. Uh, so this is a very, very nicely machined and very large piece of 154cm steel for the price. So just keep that in mind, that you're getting a very, very nice material and quite a lot of it for that price. So the blade here has a full flat grind on there. It is fairly thin in stock. I'll compare it to a Ontario Rat Model 2. So hopefully you can see that the blade on this knife isn't as thick as you would think it would be. Uh, I was quite concerned when I picked this knife up that this thing was just going to be an absolute tank and it was just going to be a, a fixed blade pry bar. Uh, but the stock on here is actually reasonably thin, so I like that. This knife is also very thin behind the edge as well. Hopefully you can see that there's not a lot of steel going in behind that edge. So you can see that the blade on this knife comes down to a fairly, fairly fine edge. And I was actually pleasantly surprised with that. And the knife, therefore, cuts pretty decently, so I like that. This blade also came razor, razor sharp out of the box, which is very impressive, and I greatly, greatly appreciate that as well. So there we go. You have the little Kaiser Maker's Mark up here, as well as these cutouts in the blade. Not necessary, but do add a nice bit of design to the, to the overall knife. Here on the back of the blade, it says Butcher, which is the model name of this particular knife. So there we go. 
Uh, let's talk about the ergonomics on here. Now, this was the thing I was most concerned about when I was buying this knife. As soon as I saw the handle, I was very, very concerned on how this would feel in the hand. I was uh, pretty scared that it was going to be an ergonomic nightmare, but that could not be further from the truth. This knife is actually extremely comfortable in hand. You have this big finger choil right here, as well as this uh, middle finger choil, and then your... Uh, the rest of your fingers just rest on the back of the blade. Now, if you have particularly large hands, you might not be able to fit on this knife as well as I do. I managed to get just about all four fingers on there. The pinky's kind of hanging off a little bit, but I can get it on there pretty confidently. And this knife is very comfortable in hand. Again, you have the micarta handles, which is just a very comfortable material. They're also fairly thick as well hopefully you can see that so it really feels the hand and it just feels great and it just feels like a very solid secure grip and even bearing down on this knife very very hard um there's no hot spots on here and it is very very comfortable uh so i love the ergonomics on this knife this knife also keeps you very secure as well because when you have this knife in hand if you're going to be using this knife, you don't have to worry about it falling out of your hands or sliding up onto the blade. You have this very large finger tool here, which acts as a guard as well, so you cannot slide up on this blade. As well as these finger choils, this knife isn't going anywhere. Unless you let go of this knife, this knife is not falling out of your hands, so that is good. Absolutely love the ergonomics on here. And the knife is very comfortable to use in this grip here, or this grip, or if you would like to, since it does have a cleaver blade, you can use kind of a pinch grip to do your more chopping tasks uh, in the kitchen. Uh, if you're going to be using this knife in the kitchen, like a cleaver blade is more designed to do. So that is also a capability for you. So there we go. Now I'm going to move on from the knife and I'm going to talk about the sheath. The sheath is this nice OD green color here. Uh, and it works very well. When the knife is in the sheath, there is no rattle at all. So, get this knife in the sheath. That's how it fits in. Fits in there perfectly fine. There is no rattle on this particular knife. And trust me, the retention on this knife is also very good as well. I literally stood in my apartment holding the knife like this and trying to baseball throw this knife as hard as I could to see if the sheath would come off. And it does not, so the sheath on here is very good. This is a Kydex sheath as well, so a very strong, durable material as well. The knife is very easy to get out of the sheath. You have these kind of flared portions here on the back, so it's very easy just to push that and pop the blade out. So the sheath is great. I love the sheath on here. I love it a lot. The knife also comes with this pocket clip or belt clip, whatever you would like to call it, pre-installed in this position on the knife, and I actually really, really liked this. This is the thing that drew me to the knife uh, the most, is the sheath having this scout carry clip. And what scout carry allows you to do on a pocket knife is carry the knife horizontally instead of vertically. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, I don't carry fixed blades very often, but if I'm going to, I want to carry a fixed blade scout carry. And this comes like that from the factory, and I just love that. And the clip works well. It's a plastic material as well, but it's plenty durable. I don't see uh, it breaking anytime soon. So the sheath on here is great, and I love that it comes scout carry. You also have several other eyelets on here, uh, so you can attach various other um, clips. I think you can probably put a tech lock on here. Uh, if you want to, you can attach some paracord or something as well if you want to attach this to a bag, anything like that. So the sheath is very versatile as well, so I like that. And the next thing I want to talk about is the carry. Uh, this knife carries very well in this sheath. As I said, it doesn't rattle. The retention is very good. And this knife is very good to scout carry. It's not very heavy. Like I said, it's only 3.37 ounces, so it's not going to pull your pants down. And you can use this pocket clip or this belt clip either in the waistband or on a belt uh, as it's designed for. And it works well either one. Uh, I like to go hiking and I like to take walks. And I never really carried a fixed blade, but I bought this 
particularly to fit that need, and it works very well for that. If you're wearing a belt, this pocket clip clips right onto there. The knife is very solid. It's not going to fall, fall out or pop off. Even if you're walking on pretty rough trails that have a lot of rocks and kind of inconsistent paths, uh, this thing isn't going to fall off. It's not going to go anywhere, so that is very great. And the clip here is very well designed in that it comes down and kind of curls back on itself. Hopefully you can see that right there. So when it's on your belt, it really sticks there and it's not going to go anywhere. Or even if you're just wearing this in the waistband. If you're not wearing a belt, but you're wearing shorts, uh, like I was, because it's a particularly nice day, it's summertime, it's hot, you can just clip this to the inside of your shorts and that little loop part of the clip will grab onto the material and this thing will not let go so it's not going anywhere. So I love the sheath on this knife. So I really think that covers everything I like about this knife. So what do I like? The price is good, very affordable at $55, not going to break the bank. You're getting a fantastic blade steel in 154cm for the price in full tank construction. Uh, so that is good. You can remove the scales if you would like. You have a lanyard hole on here. The blade is fairly thin in stock with a full flat grind and fairly thin behind the edge. So it's a pretty decent slicer for being a fixed blade. The ergonomics are very, very comfortable due to the micarta handles that fill the hand, and the overall design is absolutely perfect for my particular hands. Very comfortable to use like this, or you can kind of choke up on the blade to do your more chopping style tasks. Uh, this knife isn't going to go anywhere in your hand. You're locked in here. Uh, it's not going to fall out. The sheath is very well designed, has good retention, does not rattle. Uh, and the knife carries very well in the sheath if you're hiking or walking or anything like that. So there we go. That wraps up the good of this knife. So what do I not, not like about this knife? And there's very few things I don't like about this knife. The first thing, this isn't really an issue. I don't mind this, but this is something to point out. Uh, when I went to purchase this knife, I purchased this knife from Blade HQ, uh, which is where you can as well. And I don't know if they're just using an old stock photo, but when you scroll through the pictures of this particular knife on Blade HQ's website, it shows the sheath as being a black uh, Kydex sheath. And when I was and when I received the knife, I was surprised to see it in this OD green variation. So like I said, that's not really a problem for me. I don't mind it. You know, I'm out hiking in the woods, so, you know, the color of it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, so that's fine. But just keep that in mind that if you're looking at this knife and you think it's going to be a black sheath, um, it is not. So just something to point out. I would like Blade HQ to update that. It's kind of weird. But like I said, not a big deal. Doesn't bother me. I could care less. Just something to mention. Next thing I want to talk about is that this knife could be too small for some individuals. As I said, this knife is a perfect size for me. It fits very well in hand. It's lightweight. It's easy to carry. It's not overly big or obtrusive uh, when you're carrying it on the belt or the waistband. So the size is perfectly fine for me. Uh, but definitely when it comes to the handle, as I said, it's comfortable in my particular hands, but if you have any larger hands than I do, and I don't have the largest hands in the world, uh, I could definitely see this being a, kind of an issue for you, and you might not be able to get the fourth finger on there, but you can put a lanyard on here, which is always good, but again, just something to mention that if you got giant hands, this could be not as comfortable for you. Next thing is that this is a cleaver blade here, and you do not have a very capable tip on here. On a conventional knife here, you can see that the blade comes down to a tip so you can do your piercing uh, tasks. Uh, on here with this particular fixed blade, you basically have no point on here at all. So you're not going to be able to really pierce into things or stab into things or anything like that. So if that is a big need for you in a pocket knife or a fixed blade knife, if you need to stab into something and make a cut, if you're cutting a bag of sand, something like that, and you really need to pierce in there and slice, this knife isn't going to be great at that. You can do it, but you have to start kind of at a odd angle um, to use that. Uh, so it can just be a little awkward sometimes. So as I said, if the knife not having a very, you know, piercing style tip for you is a problem then that is something to note and then i really think that wraps up the bad 
So what do I not like about this knife? Is that there's a little bit of false marketing going on. Uh, the sheath, when you receive it, is actually a green instead of a black on Blade HQ's website. It can be it could be small for certain individuals, and this knife does not have a very capable piercing tip. So there we go. So that really wraps up the things I don't like about this knife. So what are my final thoughts? My final thoughts are, I really, really like this knife. To be honest, I did not expect to like this knife. Uh, when I bought it, I was figuring that it was going to be overly thick in the blade. Uh, it turned out not to be. I was very, very scared of this handle. I thought it was going to be an ergonomic nightmare. This thing is awesome. I love this, especially for the price at 55 bucks to get this big slab of 154 CM steel. And it actually cuts fairly decently. In it being this comfortable in hand, and you just have those fantastic micarta handles. They're just so, so nice. Um, it's absolutely awesome. And then the sheath, it does not rattle. It comes scout carry from the factory, which is awesome. As I said, I prefer to carry my fixed blade scout carry, um, regardless of the knife. So I just love that it came scout carry from the factory. And it carries great in the sheath. It's easy to get in and out of the sheath as I don't put it in there properly. There we go. Uh, but it's super easy to carry as well. Like I said, I like to go walking. I like to go hiking. This thing has never rattled. It's never popped out. It's never fallen out. It's never come off of my belt or my waistband. Uh, everything like that. This is just a awesome little fixed blade, especially for the price. It's got good steel. It's absolutely comfortable. And I would absolutely recommend this, whether this is going to be your full-time EDC knife or just a backup fixed blade to have. It is a absolute joy to carry, and it's an awesome little blade. So there we go. There is your review of the Kaiser Butcher fixed blade, and I absolutely love this, and I would recommend this knife all day. I'm in love with this little fixed blade. So either way, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for the continued support on the channel. You guys are just an amazing community, and I will see you all next time.